I am super excited to talk about the three secret blues chords and today I want to do a deep dive for you into these blues chords. Yeah. So these guys, I use them everywhere. I use them in rock, I use them in blues, I use them in funk, I use them in jazz. This is one of the most versatile tools that I have in my toolbox for comping, for sure. For sure. So. The way that these guys break down is like this. I'm gonna do them in C. So the first secret blues chord is like this. It is um, a type of C7 chord. Now, as you know, a C7 chord looks like this. Got a C, E, a G, and a B flat, or a one, three, five, and a flat seven. This one starts with the flat seven on the bottom. B flat, E, and G. That's the first chord. Just sounds good just just even right there just that one chord just the way that it's voiced it just works great the second chord is an F chord and it's played in its second inversion like that C F and A and the third chord is a G minor chord F C7 and I mean we've heard that so many times in songs Those are the three secret blues chords in the C part of the 12 bar blues progression. Now I'm going to go to F and these are exactly the same chords just in F. Uh, this is an F7 and it's voiced like this with the flat 7 on the bottom as well. E flat, A and C or flat 7, 3 and 5. The next chord is a B flat and the next chord is a C minor. Another way that I think of this is this is the one chord, the F7 of an of, if you're thinking an F. B flat is the four of F. And then this is like a five minor. So many ways to break it down, so many ways to think about it, but that's how they are in F. It just sounds so good. Now I'm going to show them to you in G, and when we have these three pieces together, we can put them into a 12-bar blues in the key of C. So in G, the notes are F, B, and D, or flat 7, 3, and 5, flat 7 on the bottom. And we go to a C chord and a D minor chord. G, C, E, A, D, F. So, those are the three secret blues chords for C, F, and G. Now we have the power because now we can play them through a 12 bar blues and it's all going to sound really, really good. One thing I want to point out before I give the first example of the three blues chords in a 12 bar blues is that I will oftentimes slide off the three of the first chord like this. Just kind of, it's one of these things. Just sliding from the E flat to the E or from the flat three to three. Same on F and same on G. It gives it this really bluesy sound. You don't have to do it all the time, but for taste, it works really, really well in certain situations. So I'm gonna play these three chords through the 12 bar blues. I'm just gonna do a simple bass line, something like a, just a single note bass line like that. Should work good for you, so. Up to half. So many different ways you could go. Like that. F. Hmm. 
so much fun. You know, every once in a while I'll do stabs on the top manual too with the percussion on it, which is so much fun. So you can do all kinds of fun stuff like that if you want, but I'm going to show you kind of the next level of the three secret blues chords, which is using the first two chords in inversions moving up and down and you can create some great movement uh, doing this. So the first two chords in the key of C are the C7 and the second chord is the F. What you can try is moving like this. So all that is is C, F, C, F, first two chords, the C7 and the F, are the ones that you can kind of travel around the keyboard on. An example is like this. It's great. And it works great in shuffle blues, in slow blues, in straight blues. Doesn't matter, you can play straight blues. C, F, C, I'll do stuff like that too. F, C, F, C, I just kind of move up and down the keyboard. If you were to do this in F, you can create the same inversions off the first two chords. F, B flat, F, B flat, F, B flat, F, B flat, F. If you were to do this in G, same thing. You just use the first two chords and create inversions up or down. C, G7, C, G7. So it's really the first two chords that you can travel up and down the keyboard on. You do have that third chord, which is a minor chord, which, which works great. But you can start mixing them together. Go up that, then travel down the first two. And you can make some really exciting sounds with this. Um, so I'm going to try to do a little comp for you with a blue shuffle moving around in these inversions. Here's an example. Course, this does require some practice in getting it under your hands to get used to it. The exercise that you can try for this is just start on a C7, find the next inversion of F, moving down, C7, just find all of the inversions all the way down the organ like this. literally use these anywhere. I use them in syncopation when I'm not playing with the bass player. That's a deep dive into the three secret blues chords. I hope you love them and I hope you have a lot of fun with them because they're awesome.